although I came here to check acoustics and the size of the room and all this. But uh, it is very difficult to predict how the pipe, pipes sound in this room when I was still designing on the paper or, or in the computer screen. Um, so from uh, our experience, we can design appropriately for the acoustics and for the, also the purpose of the use of the organ, um, quite close to uh, what we need. On the other hand, uh, the very fine adjustment, for instance, like um, the volume of the, the pipes uh, are slightly adjustable, uh, even though the pipe is the same, uh, depending on the voicing, you can adjust the, the volume and the timber. Um, and especially to me, uh, what I noticed here especially is the, um, the room's tendency to pick up very high pitch, pitches, uh, which is probably not in the, the pitch of those pipes, but the, every pipe contains some overtones, or not only overtones, but the very high partials or noise kind of thing, like that contains very high, high frequencies. And the, if that kind of noise uh, is too strong and uh, too destructive uh, to our ear, uh, the, the people who are standing in the building, then I have to just uh, uh, erase or reduce those noises. Now, if you reduce or get rid of noise completely, or, uh, or even higher partials or upper, upper overtones, uh, then the sound is not fresh anymore. And not, not, uh, we don't get a lively feeling. So this is a very um, fine adjustment uh, uh, that is required in order to maintain some sort of um, uh, lively feeling. At the same time, it's appropriate our ear, so that because noise could be very destructive if it's really little too much, it's just like a spice of the food. 